chibemba chitila mano ya luguli yesanga mwana elo kabidi uwa kwewe mfwa ya kwa noko mutanji uwa kwewe mfwa ya kwa noko mutanji amano na yo mambulwa amano na yo mambulwa ya fumamu ifuesa ya ya mchuru when you look at all these bemba idioms they are telling us one thing and that one thing that they are telling us is that it is very very important to accept advice it is extremely important to take advice and to think through the advice even before you respond i have been following the sentiments that are being made as regards the increase of fuel prices from 22 kwacha to 26.6 kwacha per liter what is the implication of this increment the implication of this increment is that all prices of commodities will shoot up by about 30 to 30 by about 30 to 35 percent it simply means the bag of millimil will go up the bag of a pocket of sugar will go up cooking oil prices will go up transport costs for individuals or human beings and for goods will also go up meaning therefore that the cost of living is going to go up by about 30 percent we do sympathize with those in government and listen very carefully my dear brothers in government the UPND running a country is not making profits running a country is not about making profits or making your uh, balance sheet look good or only wanting to have micro parameters in conformity with the expected international standards but running a country is about improving the living standards of the people in improving the living standards of the people what is more cardinal is that people must be able to meet basic needs more especially food because without food clean water no man can survive now if your citizens are failing to afford basic food basic essential commodities then you must check your leadership you must think why am i a leader if the people cannot afford basic commodities we know that this increase in fuel has been necessitated by a lot of factors one of them is the war in between russia and ukraine which has made oil prices at the international community to shoot up i have said and i want to say it again the situation that has presented itself is an extraordinary situation it's not an ordinary situation under the normal circumstances ordinary situation people can say no we cannot bring back subsidies because we have to build the economy or probably we have to conform to some required benchmarks by maybe people that we are borrowing money from like the imf 
in a normal circumstance. But what, what we're being faced with is not a normal situation. Is what we can classify as an emergency situation. The people of Zambia, their living standards have been going down. The people of Zambia's disposable income has been going down. The civil servants, i.e. the teachers, the policemen, the nurse, the miners, and almost everybody who works have had their salaries or earnings stagnant for a long period of time. But the essential commodities are going up. Now, this has even been made worse by the increase in fuel prices. It is against this background that some of us are saying, let's look for money and subsidize the price of fuel. Please, those in government, don't be arrogant. Don't overlook advice. That's why I said, Amano Yalubuli. Yes, Angamwa. Yo, Palakwachalwa, Amu Maso, Ngachponenoku, Amu Katakam Goshi, Nani Muchinfia, Nawaku Makari Ulu Naruku. This is what has happened to a lot of governments by the time you realize you are already out of government. Like I've said, we don't want you to fail your PND. But please, Abape na unfilen kwa bantulu se. Unfilen kwa bantulu se. Subsidize the price of fuel. And get your cadres out of this equation. You see, the way government has behaved in the last five days, it's like you are trivializing the issue of price of fuel, the increase in price of fuel. How can you honestly be allowing cadres at the uh, IPS for Lusaka province going to address the nation <coughs> about the price of fuel? You go and get the chairman of energy in your party to come and address the issue of fuel. You go and get Mr. Noe Onkoma to come and address the issue of increasing price of fuel. Don't make mistakes that other people have made in the past. Separate the government from the party. This issue has to do with the government. And we want communication to come from the government and not the party. Statements from the party are just making it worse and making you look disorganized. Because when you look at the statement that young man gave IPS Lusaka province, what Mr. Nkoma said and what the chairman of energy said, and coordinated statements. Mr. Nkoma says, no, we have to fulfill the, 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 the conditions of the IMF. The other one says, no, our manifesto says we shall charge cost-reflective tariffs. The other young man says something else. Come on, UPND, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. Where is the chief government spokesperson in all this equation? Where is the official statement from government in all this equation? We don't want what was going on in the past. Where, you know, we are saying, let's <laughs> stop cardinalism. Cardinalism is not insult is not only insulting or what, but it's cadres, political party members wanting to speak on behalf of government. That is also a form of cardinalism. My dear brother, President H. H., you can do better. Stop the cadres from commenting on important national issues. Let these statements come from the chief government spokesperson or the minister in charge of that particular ministry. You are trivializing the issue of the suffering of the people as a result of fuel prices. And this is not ordering well with the citizenry. Like I've said, we don't want you to fail. But Abapena, we plead with you, Tuam Papata, Umfilen Kwaban to say, Ichwe Mbachila, Chichi Chirifie, 
Chili fait tu finis film comme ça, tu sais ça tu ton 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 frère. Et là tu veux mal à cabine tu t'es là, au moins il tient et qu'à l'échelle loin. Au moins il tient et qu'à l'échelle loin. Les quelques tu t'es tu y a tant les hommes frères, de la longue bâche à pousser. Et là il cala, en tout cas tu dis là, la chair est fille. You can do better, you can do. Please subsidize the price of fuel. Because what has started happening, I was walking around Luansha yesterday and the other day in Kitwe. What people are saying and the way people are complaining is not too good for a government. The government is supposed to be the father. And when an extraordinary situation presents itself, please make extraordinary decisions. Look for money. Like I advised in my previous discourse, that look, there are certain things you've budgeted for in the budget that are not a matter of life and death. Could you think if you want to become budget? Now, we have to have staff for two years. The country will not negatively be affected. But it's a chance, as a result of Kulundo Mutengo wa fuel, Abantu Bala for Kunsala. Mukampeni, Mualenda, like a plastic car cooking on, like a pakataka wunga. Amutinga tu aisa ifwe paka taya wunga na kaka plastiki ka cooking oil takuwa kawe abantu paka la shitama 5 liters Nomba ifi o mutengo wa mafuta wanina ifi o mutengo ya lawe ya saladi ya wunga na paka tayi ina hida takuwa kawe abantu wala mboku liya katuishinga nga fiumbu nga wakula liye mishila mweba mnina ni mweba li government ine nde mufilo luse don't be capitalists. Don't run the country like a business. Strictly like a business where you want to see profits. In running the country, you must balance between, you know, keeping your macro parameters in check and also the living standards of the people. Nam papata. Subsidize fuel. Abantu wapemu ineko, abantu wale chula. Lesa inga mikila, mumi tumayenu, mumfu ineko abantu uluse. Imo mula fole indala meshi ingiba minister, wa president, wa bashitila mefionse. Elo wali, ya mwa echi wandi wali, ya presidential affairs, eh, presidential aid for press. Yo, shpeni fe mwe bantu. Abena zambi ya bali, shpikishe. But this is an extraordinary situation. Please, because in Gatamuch they subsidize next month, few it up must take three or even more than take three. I want to like an ashani. You are in those offices because of this same poor people who vote for you. Unfree and quavan to say. But I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. Mwamuine, order price miskiste, apanga kufote kwacha, ayashita mwaka kapaka takawunga, ayashita na kakukingo, nombanga bala afilu omla ndu wa mitengo, bala wantu bala ya kuisa. Na mpapa ataba HH I know, ba government I know, mweba mnyinane, mweba mnyinane, mweba mnyinane, na mwite miku itatu, umfile nikuwa bantu uluse. We sheni mutengo wa mafuta by subsidizing. Kagame uko. Nalanda bala kita subsidize. Ba South Africa bala kita subsidize. Ba America. Nga ime cha shupa shani. Usheba haye mefwe wako latu wewe fi hapu teke chalo. Fyoka mkoma wale landa. No by June. We will be done with the IMF. Things will be alright. The IMF program is three years program. That money will be disbased in three years. It's not in June. Elo ufi na wamu leki ufi mila vipa bantu kwata katonto mkanya nani wamiyebele wamkomati IMF program uendi njun please do the right thing subsidize the fuel cushion the poor from the eminent sufferings and anger that is going to besiege this country I thank you.